Hey everyone, welcome back to Rig Tag Stacking. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, stacking Canadian maple leaves and uh, show you the most recent one that has come in. Now, there are many uh, different types of maple leaves, and just to get into the most basic one, just the investment grade that uh, many people are familiar with, this is just your basic run of the mill Canadian maple leaf. This one is from 2020. As you can see, it's got these nice radial lines to it. And any maple that has been made from uh, 2018 uh, onward has a, a thing called mint shield on it. That was uh, something that the maple leaves had a hard time with, was uh, milk spotting. As you can see with one of my favorite uh, types of maple leaves here with the reverse maple, with the reverse proof, you can see that the maple leaf and the, uh, the cougar on the bottom there has some milk spotting on it. And this one is from 2017. And even the, uh, the queen's face has some milk spotting on it as well. So this is what the, uh, the maple leaves and the Royal Canadian Mint were dealing with pre-2018 was this milk spotting and quality control issue. Uh, but with the mint shield that they have on there, I noticed that, uh, you know, it has seemed to uh, to uh, nip that in the bud. The, uh, the milk spotting is not an issue on the uh, current maple leaves, like I said, from 2018 onwards. And uh, I really hope that the Royal Mint and the uh, the Perth Mint will start to actually look into getting a mint shield of their own, or maybe the Royal Canadian Mint can license out their mint shield technology uh, to some other mints. You know, they can make some money that way, and then some of these other uh, mints will be um, more attractive to me to stack. Because uh, even though I love the Britannia a lot, I will not stack another tube of them until they get that milk spotting under control. So yes, like I showed you, those are just the regular maple leaves. Uh, those maple leaves uh, were introduced in uh, 1988, and uh, there hasn't been too many changes to the uh, the actual maple leaf side here. Like I mentioned, the radial lines, they came in in, uh, I believe it was 2014, um, but you'll see that the basic layout of the coin hasn't changed in, uh, what is it now, 34 years? Uh, the maple leaf, they might have had a little bit more definition onto the leaf with the veins and things like that. But the same layout of Canada at the top, fine silver, argent pure, 99, uh, four nines fine, one ounce. That micro engraving came in right around the same time as the, um, the radial lines. So the basic format of the coin has not changed. And uh, the back here, the, uh, the, uh, the bust, the effigy of the queen, this has changed three times. Like I said, the first coin came in 88. So from 88 to 89, there was a bust. And then from 90 until 2003, there was one. And then just the uh, the current one here has been from 2003 to the, uh, to the present. And the Royal Canadian Mint also offers different things, like different series of coins. They have like a wildlife series and a predator series. Actually, Bullion Mart has uh, full tubes of some of these ones. And you can see the price difference, where if you get a full tube of maple leaves, 25 maple leaves, it's around 9.50-ish, I think, today, Canadian. I'll uh, show a conversion for American. But you see what you're paying for the maple leaves. And then you look down and see what you're paying for the uh, the 25 coins of the, the specialty series, like the wildlife or something like that, with the blue caps to them. You're paying up around like 1700 So it's pretty much double what you're willing to pay for a maple leaf. But these are still technically called maple leaves. They're, uh, they're designated as that, even though they have a completely different symbol on there and there's no maple leaf on, actually on the coin, these are designated as maple leaves. And if you look on Wikipedia, you can go through all of the different types and their mintages and things like that. And just like the US Mint, the uh, Royal Canadian Mint does have specialty um, maple leaves that you can buy directly from the mint, some low mintage ones here. And uh, they have a W Mint mark on them. I'll show it to you right here. And the W Mint mark is for the Winnipeg Mint. And uh, these coins are fairly new. This one is the 2020, where it's kind of has like a mirrored like finish there with the W mint mark. And then this one is from 2021, where it's uh, changed a bit the background. I always call it the sidewalk finish, but the, uh, the lines in that uh, design and that angle are actually supposed to um, mimic or look like what the uh, the Winnipeg Mint's building, the outside uh, facade, is. Uh, that's what's supposed to be represented here. So I do like the look of them. I like the kind of the, the matte finish on this one, the, 
uh, better. Uh, out of the two, I think I like the 21 better than the 20. But uh, I can't wait to see what the, uh, that's just some condensation there. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the uh, the design is for the 2022. Uh, I, I think, I hope that they're going to change up the design slightly every year, like they did for the first, uh, for the first two coins issued. And uh, yeah, it will be interesting to see what they do with the, uh, the 2022. And I wouldn't mind if they just went full reverse proof on it. If they did a reverse proof with a little W mitt mark where the, you know, the monkey pretty is, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, coins to have. And I think it's my favorite maple is the reverse proof. And I like the frosted field around it. And uh, you can see the mirrored like, uh, you know, thin border, the mirrored like writing. And then the definition on the maple leaf look, really pops on these ones as well. And then on the back there, you can see the the, the queen and the writing is uh, the, and then on the back there, you can see the queen and the writing is that uh, proof finish, and then that awesome frosted finish in the uh, in the field. So this would be my uh, one of my wishes for the 2020 coin is that it'll be just a straight reverse proof W mint mark. Uh, I believe they come out in March. Uh, just judging by my purchase of the uh, the coin last year, it was uh, around the March area. So so I'm assuming it'll come out fairly soon. You know, I'll be surprised if it comes out February, but uh, I'm assuming that it will be out in uh, in March. And if you are interested from releases from the Royal Canadian Mint, they do tend to uh, release the bulk of their new things in the uh, the first Tuesday of every month. Uh, now I have checked back afterwards, and they have released things that are not on the first Tuesday, but they're just like things here and there. The bulk of the new coins that are released seem to be on the first Tuesday of every month. So just getting into um, what has come in today, a new maple leaf has come in today. And uh, like I have shown you, I do enjoy getting things straight from the mint. They're lower mintage. This one is a 10,000 and this is an 8,000. And those are my uh, only two straight from the mint maple leaves that I have. And uh, of course, for a design, I really love the, the, the look of the reverse proof maple. So that's why I really wanted to go with uh, this coin when I saw it on eBay. It's uh, reverse proof 30th anniversary of the maple leaf. And it came straight from the mint and it's got the, uh, the COA there. So I will show you the coin a little bit more out of the uh, container here or sorry out of the uh, clamshell but I just want to show you that this one is a uh, mintage of 6,000 and just uh, you can make out some of the other uh, writing there if you want to pause it you can uh, go ahead and pause it here to read through but uh, yeah all of the stuff that comes from the Royal Canadian Mint does have a nice certificate of authenticity and a nice clamshell to go with it uh, the ones that I've seen are in black this one goes with that coin uh, but this is what you'll be seeing most of the time and this is the one that came in today this is from 2018 I'm not sure if it was a year that they had switched over if the 2019s they went to the the black whatever it is uh, I like the look of both uh, and I think I like the red a little bit better than the uh, the black so I took the coin out so we can see it a bit more that this is the 30th anniversary of the maple leaf and if you go on the back there so that's just my uh, fingerprints on the capsule you can see this is a 2018 so there are no milk spotting issues to deal with on this coin being as it is uh, the mint shield applied to it just looking at it um, on its surface here the, uh, the th it's pretty um, easy to realize what it's celebrating it's celebrating the 30th anniversary of the maple leaf but then you look at the privy mark here and you see a n a and you see some, I don't know, some kind of flowers there. It's kind of hard to make out what the preview mark is. This one confused me a little bit. So I actually went on and they have a, a write-up on the mint. So I'm just going to read the description of what exactly this is because I wasn't quite sure. It says, to the left of the maple leaf stem, a micro-engraved preview mark celebrates the Royal Canadian Mint's attendance at the 2018 American Numismatic Association's World Fair at the uh, World's Fair of Money in Philadelphia, PA, which is represented by the acronym ANA. So you can see the ANA above the uh, the flowers there. And then it says um, represented ANA and the official state flower of Pennsylvania, the mountain laurel. So that's what these are supposed to be. That's supposed to be the Pennsylvania laurel. Uh, mountain laurel uh, flower here. 
And like I said, this was the first time that I saw you know, a reverse proof that was you know, straight from the mint, and the preview mark was uh, pretty interesting, talking about that ANA. But it seems to be something that uh, uh, they had before, and I just didn't notice, because this I saw one on eBay that was from 2015, and it was in Chicago. So they had, I believe it was like the Illinois state flower that was on there with the ANA over top of it. So this was something that was completely under my radar. I had no idea that this awesome reverse proof uh, 30th anniversary of the maple with the preview mark there was even a thing but uh, I'm glad that I found it so I will you know go on eBay every now and then to just uh, see if there's anything that catches my eye and anything that I want to add to you know, this is uh, I like the the W mint marks and stuff like that I think these are I'm not going to be stacking these obviously I don't want to get a tube of W's but this these are my first coins that would be in my uh, my my collection stack if you want to call it that because I don't really um, collect coins quite yet I, I can see myself getting really into collecting coins in the future once all of my goals for silver and gold are met um, but yes, I am very happy that I found uh, this coin on there. I haven't bought a Maple Leaf from uh, eBay in a while. The last one was uh, one of these reverse proof maples I picked up from there. So yes, um, this one I wasn't expecting to pick up because I actually I didn't really know that it, it, it existed. I had seen some other ones that were just, you know, they looked regular and they had the 30 on the regular Maple Leaf, the, just the bullion grade one, but not the reverse proof. I do have one reverse proof maple that I want to get, and that is the uh, the one with the uh, the the big mark, uh, the big foot preview mark. Sorry, I stumbled on that. Yeah, I haven't seen it uh, available for a while, and when I do, it's really really expensive. So uh, that is the uh, the one reverse proof maple that's kind of like on my bucket list. If I come across one that's a really good deal and a steal and I can't turn it down, you know, I'll pick up another one of these 2016 Lunar Monkeys if it was, you know, a really good deal. I don't care if I have doubles of them. I just like the look of the design. But let me know what you guys think if you guys like the look of this reverse proof maple and uh, if you guys have any of your own. And uh, also, I've just been seeing a lot of people talking about how they're kind of uh, switching over to the Maple Leafs, even though they live in the States. They're just uh, trying to avoid those premiums that are still um, attached to the American Silver Eagles. And I know the ASEs are a lot of people's favorites. It's just, uh, you know, you, you got to make some sacrifices and some decisions when you're, uh, when you're looking at your budget and saying, hey, you know, I can go with this one or I can go with another one that, uh, you know, is more, is a more favorite to my budget and my wallet. But yeah, like I said, uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. I always like um, talking with you guys in the comments. It's always good to see uh, what you guys are thinking. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.